<laughs> Hi, wonderful viewers. Is there something going on? The United States Science Center I think there might be. Let me define what something is, and you can decide. That's another one. You Now, we've all heard about UFOs seen over Ukraine. Rather interesting, and obviously a very sad situation in Ukraine. Let's look at what could be happening. So, if I was to write a Hollywood movie script, I would say there were us from the future coming back to now to tell us something about an upcoming nuclear conflict and maybe going back to our time to fix it before it happened and wiped them out. Probably unlikely. And of course, <laughs> I put my hand up in horror. They're aliens. Yeah, well, yes. Aliens is always on the list. It goes something unknown, something maybe possible, da 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 da. Aliens. Yes, aliens are always on the list. But being open minded and looking at the big picture, I think they're very similar to the kind of crafts we've seen flying over other places. And I'm not the only person to think that. So does China. So, what are they? I have no idea. Do you know? But here's my thoughts. The situation in Ukraine is dire. The situation for Putin is serious. And the situation for NATO countries and the rest of the world is worrying. The crisis surrounding Russia's invasion of Ukraine suddenly seems even more frightening than before. And people have begun to think the unthinkable. This as Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened the world at large, suggesting perhaps that he could be ready to use nuclear weapons. But one of the things the US, Britain and NATO and other countries don't want to do is really get directly involved in the country of Ukraine. But what they can do, and what they are doing, is supplying incredible high-tech military stuff to the Ukrainian armed forces. Not only giving them the kit, but also training them outside of Ukraine on how to use incredible anti-tank missiles, anti-drone weapons, and probably lots of stuff we don't really know about. Because they don't want to get involved directly. And I can understand why. <laughs> so here's my thought process. And let me know if you are thinking along the same lines. If I was a high-tech military friend of the Ukraine and don't want to actually get involved in Ukraine on the ground, I might give them some so advanced military technology that not even we know about it. Some kind of aerial vehicle, some kind of drone technology, some sort of stealthy cloaked aircraft or drones or observations or something weird. That's the kind of things that we've seen possibly tested by the US Navy, in my humble opinion. So what do I know? Absolutely nothing. But if you look up at the skies over Ukraine, people have seen lots of weird stuff more than people normally see over the rest of the world. The Harvard physicist Avi Loeb has looked into the Ukrainian UAP phenomenon, and so did Ukrainian scientists who turned some of their best equipment onto studying this phenomenon in their sky. The Ukrainian study found various UAP types, some bright, some dark, and some fast moving. There are definitely objects visible in the sky over Ukraine. 
But as Avi Loeb says, this is a war zone. There are strange military things flying in the sky. His best guess of what they're seeing is artillery shells. What do you think? Well, thanks for watching Ukrainian UFOs. And a bit about me. I'm old, I'm retired, but I can ask the big question because I've got time and I don't have all the answers, but you do. <laughs> if this was the type of film that you enjoy, please consider pressing the like button. It gives a message to YouTube that this is what you want to watch. And remember, the truth is out there.